Good evening. I am in Mukumi Safari Lodge and it's getting late. I was going to drive all the way from Morogoro to uh, Iringa today, but the sun's going down and I've decided to check in here for the night. I was going to pitch my tent, but instead I made a sales pitch and I've offered Mikumi Safari Lodge, which is uh, the main lodge in Mikumi National Park. I've offered them some free drone footage for in return for a night in a cabin. And I'm not sure whether they're going to give me safari or not, but we're yet to have that discussion. But this is the lodge. Very beautiful. And I'm about to be shown my room. Mambo. Yeah. Are you guys going to clean my room? Oh, I sent to Sana. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Great. Well, this is nice. Yeah, so I just drove off the main road. Earlier, I was driving and I saw some baboons and some antelope. Uh, I think that's what they were. And I decided to take a left and go to the safari lodge. Um, but here, check out some of the animals that I saw on my way here. How cool is that? <laughs> That's so good. Uh, I saw some baboons. I even saw a warthog, but I didn't manage to get him on uh, on camera. But yeah, I'm gonna stay here one night and then drive to Oringa tomorrow. This is the safari lodge. Little area for having breakfast in the morning. Reception area. <laughs> hey guys at Makumi Safari Lodge have kindly given me a nice cold beer to drink after my long drive. Cheers. Kili. <laughs> the sun's coming down here and I'm going to get my drone out of the bag and I'm going to fire it up and show you guys this place. It's amazing, it's beautiful, it's very uh, very calming. Cool, fired up. Okay. Do you guys want to introduce yourselves for the camera? <laughs> <laughs> they're shy, they're shy. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take the drone okay. and uh, fire it up. I'm just gonna leave it here just now until they're ready with the room and then I'll just roll it down to the uh, room, room, okay? So we're gonna go and ch try out the drone. Have you guys ever seen a drone before? Yeah. Flying? Yeah. Okay, Sawa. <sighs> okay. I need to try and not hit these trees though. All right. Daniel, I'm gonna introduce you. <laughs> Guys, this is Daniel. Hi guys. He's one Welcome. of the man he's the managing partner of this place. We're gonna try out the drone. Oh okay. Okay. Happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's recording. It's like 
money shot, right? Ah, zut, ich noch nicht ganz. Good, right? Very, very good. Well done. Cool. All right, I'm going to stop. Yeah, it was open since 2013. And um, unfortunately, because of COVID, we had to close the property for two years. Ah. And um, I recently came on board in April. Ah, okay. And we opened the property. Um, we've been managing from May Amazing. Um, until currently. Yeah. So there's what? There's five? So basically, we have five cottages on each side. Okay. Okay, so the property has got 10 cottages in total. How many do each of the cottages hold? Uh, basically, um, we can hold up to four people per room. Okay, wow. Uh, the configuration does change. Yeah. We can put four people, two two single beds I see. and then one big bed I understand. and then of course one double bed and one single bed as well oh cool cool yeah and then you have these beautiful views that we just saw yeah, in the drone footage amazing as well amazing views as well um we have solar power but we also have a generator that runs 24 hours okay our water is also coming from a borehole okay so basically we are semi self-sustained oh in the property. great great uh if you just look over here this is uh, where we get our hot water from ah. and basically uh we use uh, just wood all right yeah and you just fire to, up the wood and then that that's what keeps that's, the water hot that's correct yes that's what keeps the water hot. wow yeah oh so does it does it store hot water yeah basically there is an urn yeah let's so have a look an and then we just take the dry or the dead trees you guys do safari from here yeah, as well we, we arrange safari we're basically adjacent to the national park mikumi national uh, park yeah. however we're about 15 kilometers from the entrance of the of the national park as well oh, okay okay yeah 
Uh, we have Wi-Fi at reception. Yeah. Uh, so we're not. Uh, we are remote, but and yeah, fortunately we do have some Wi-Fi as well. That's great. That's great. Uh, we serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Oh, cool. So does yeah. that is that included? How much does somebody pay to get a lodge? What's uh, the deal? For a, sing, a single person, we charge seventy dollars. Okay. Okay, that's including breakfast, uh, <laughs> lunch, and also dinner as well. Okay. okay. Amazing. Wow, $70. Yeah, only $70 per person. That's a good deal. I just, guys, I just literally turned off the path, drove up here and then met Daniel and uh, offered him some drone footage in return for uh, a night here. So, super kind of him. I think the... the That's a trade. Yeah, that That's was a good, that was a good trade. Very, very but I hope you guys enjoy that footage. It was sick, right? Thank you so much, guys. Yeah. Uh, please do. Welcome to Mikumi Safari Lodge. Yeah. Hope to see you guys soon. Good morning guys, it's the next day. I'm uh, I'm about to have breakfast and then set off. Uh, but I had an amazing night's sleep last night. Actually, I'm gonna show you guys the room that I stayed in. Although one of the beds is unmade, so please excuse. They're just cooking my breakfast at the moment which is awesome. <clears throat> Actually, I've been a bit worried about how I'm going to, well, fund the trip. Um, you know, it's it's expensive staying places. And then if that's why I got the tent. I thought maybe I can just camp places. It'll be cheaper. Um, I didn't want to stay places that in return for like promoting their place on like this channel. Because I don't really want to do that. Because I, I want to be honest about places that I go. And not feel like I owe something to the people. Oh, so anyway, this is this is the room, the, the little decking outside. Super peaceful. I woke up to like birds chirping. Okay, All right, excuse the mess. But yeah, so they have like... They can put four beds in here and they have a little table and chairs there and then through here there's a bathroom and then there's a little sink here and then there is a shower. So that's one of the cottages here. Yeah, so I wasn't sure what to do about this and uh, I was thinking I was just going to stay in the tent um, and then just book places quite cheaply along the route and uh, I don't really mind that. I don't mind sleeping in a tent but now I've realised that I have a drone and people are super keen to show their places like I did last night on the drone. So... I think I'm just going to turn up places on the route down to South Africa and I'm going to go to, to, to like the nicest places and the biggest resorts or the biggest places show you guys, give an honest opinion about what it's like and I'm not going to take money for promotion but then I'm going to give them drone footage along the route and it's good because I'm going to want to show you guys Anyway, the places that I go to, but I don't want to be tied to gush over the place and tell you guys it's amazing when I don't think it's amazing, but they're giving me free accommodation. So, cause I want this to be honest. So that's the plan. Mambo. Nice. Asante. Oh, this is the coffee. Yeah. Asante Sana. <laughs> oh my God. The chefs here are incredible. What is this? Is this like stir fry vegetables, yeah? This is vegetable pakora. What is this one? Yeah, it's sambusa. Sambusa. Babagia. Babagia. Yes. And it's vegetarian. Yeah. And this one is fried mushroom. vegetables. Mushroom. Oh, mushrooms. Yes. Ah, I see. Tomato toast. Nzuri. Karibu sana. Chakula nzuri. Karibu. Sante. So the plan for the rest of today, I'm going to set off back to uh, where I was originally trying to go yesterday, which is Iringa. And uh, I'll check in somewhere there. 
and I'm going to explore the town a little bit. And I've heard it's beautiful in Oringa, not sure exactly what there is to do there, but we're going to go and explore and uh, see what it's all about. Anyway, I'm going to tuck into my breakfast. All right, guys, that's me all set off, all packed up to go to Oringa. Thank you guys so much for having me. You're welcome. It's been amazing. Next stop, Iringa. Hey guys, I just drove six kilometers from over there. That's me back on the main road on the way to Iringa. It's crazy. Yesterday, I just decided to take a left here. I didn't know where I was going. I'd never met those guys before, but I just, ra I just decided my curiosity is that I just want to go off the road and go and have a look at this uh, this lodge and uh, it turned out to be an amazing experience so super happy I'm just gonna do this all along the route just like if I see a sign that I'm interested in if I want to take a detour I'm just gonna do it so that was good right let's uh, let's do the long drive I think I've got another three no maybe two hours left to go until I get to Oringa, so hopefully I get there early. It's around 10 o'clock right now. Had my breakfast, ready to go. Still wearing the same jumper as yesterday though. When I get there, I'm gonna get a nice warm shower and a change of clothes. But I didn't want to unpack all of these things because that's too much effort. All right, let's go. Guys, I'm around one hour away from Iringa. I thought I would just stop and show you all of these petroleum trucks climbing this hill very, very slowly. I guess they're all transporting uh, petrol from, uh, I guess, Iringa, other countries to Dar es Salaam. The whole road that I'm going on from Dar es Salaam to like Mbeya is a massive uh, transport route so all i'm passing are buses and big lorries and trucks so these ones they also do not give a shit about motorbikes bumbo they don't give a shit about motorbikes so they're just uh they are just driving straight at me when i think i've got right away in my lane they're just taking over on the other side and driving straight in towards me. So I'm having to drive most of the way in the hard shoulder. I tried to take over a bus earlier and he pulled in to a lay-by in the hard shoulder and I had to skid off. So survived it narrowly. But yep, I've still got everything on my bike. Good to go. One more hour driving and then we go. Some logs as well. I am in Iringa. I've made it here on the motorbike. There it is. The mean machine. And I'm at a place called Mount Royal Villa. I've tested my little trick hypothesis about the drone. And it seems to be working. These guys also want me to give them some drone footage of this little resort and in exchange they're putting me up for the night and giving me breakfast and lunch and dinner tonight so that's awesome we're gonna do a little walk around as well guys I just got to Mount Royal Villa Hotel and they have treated me so awesomely giving me the room it's like beautiful I've been traveling all the way from Dar es Salaam on a motorbike and I walked into that room and I feel super awesome I'm gonna show you the room that, they, that I'm going to be staying in tonight. 
<laughs> it's awesome. And, uh, and then we'll show you some of the breakfast tomorrow morning. We're gonna have dinner tonight. We just jumped, we've just been hanging out around the pool. So this place has got a lot to offer. So room 125. Let's show you guys around. Okay, so this is the entrance. You've got somewhere that you can just uh, entertain your friends. If anyone's coming over, you can just chill out here in the reception area. Very Nzuri Sana. <laughs> That's my Swahili. <laughs> I've checked in and uh, laid out in the bed, so it's a little bit crumpled and sorry about all my stuff, but I am super excited to be checked in. It's been a long journey. I've been sleeping in tents for the last few nights, so I'm super excited to have a nice, well-earned night of rest. Guys, it's dinner time here at the Mount Royal Villa Hotel. I'm having the kingfish. It's very delicious. I'm eating it with pili pili sauce. Mmm, enjoy. Hi guys, welcome to breakfast time at the Mount Royal Villa Hotel. We're going to eat some breakfast today. I'm just going to show you what's on offer. Uh, there's uh, fresh fruit. We've got watermelon, pineapple, oranges. Naomi <laughs> is going to serve up some wheat bix, some uh, cornflakes, fresh juices. Ooh, chakula nam, is it? Nam? Chakula tam, oh my god. Chakula and zuri. And zuri sana. <laughs> and then what do we have here, Naomi? Oh, oh potatoes. Mm. Ooh. Good. Is this traditional uh, breakfast here? Yes. And what's this? Porridge. Oh, porridge, nice. Mm. Beans. Beans. Is that French toast? Yeah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm so hungry looking at all of this food. Can't wait to get stuck in. I've got my vanilla yogurt. I'm going to pour it all over my nice fresh fruit that I've got here. My pineapple and my watermelon. You get coffee here. Africa coffee. <laughs> Like every cat ain't gotta maintain the cap You can make change, don't change for that Tell the whole truth, get paid for that Bet you never fall off, you was made for that You gotta be who you really be, shine from the inside Cause niggas ain't really who they say on the outside You gotta be who you really be, shine from the inside Cause niggas ain't really who they say on the outside Slaughter around the city with my day one, niggas I ain't gotta worry cause they A1, niggas What ain't in the field, then you can't come with us My little shawty going stupid, going straight dumb with us I'm a big time nigga, still humble in the hood Gotta keep it positive on nothing but the good When I'm on vacation, I be stunting like I should Got a real queen falling, she gon' stumble on the wood And I Humble can I have a black Americano? Americano. Actually, can I? Can you make it iced? Iced. iced yeah. Okay. Saba. Asante sana. Oh, can you also make it very strong? strong. Like three shots. Three shots. Safi. So I've got my uh, coffee, and I'm. Uh, Gonna take a walk around town. Iringa is very small. It has around 150,000 uh, people living here. There's this uh, clock tower in the middle of this little town. Okay, Asante Sana. Cheers, dude. All right, this nice guy just told me there's two towers. That I should see. So that's the little clock tower over here. This is a tower for when uh, Tanzania got independence, 1961. Very nice. Mambo. Asante Sana. I like your little shops. Asante. Oh, nice. I didn't know this was here. Mambo. Tappy. Asante. This is cool. 
Huh? I'm good. I'm good. I've got too many, too much luggage, and I'm driving a motorbike, so I can't take anything else with me. Oh, Asante. I've already got uh, the Zanzibar one. So, all right. Mambo. How are you? Ah, Sante, I'm good. Sante, is this your shop? Yeah. Ah, I like your things. Nzuri sana. Ah. Potentially, maybe. I'm not sure. I think it's too small for me. You can try. I'm very big. I can tell already. Asante though. Asante. Mambo. Asante sana. Ah. What is this market called? Masai market. Masai market. Iringa Masai Market. Yeah. Can you guys make these here? Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. Uh, Asante. Where are you from? Scotland. Scotland. Yeah. Yeah, I'm driving from Dar es Salaam to Malawi by Piki Piki. <laughs> yeah. What is this one? Did you guys carve these as well? Yeah, like a mountain. Ah. What what is what is may I sit? Yeah. What is there to do in Iringa? What is that? What can I do in Iringa? How many days do you want to stay here? I'm leaving in two hours three hours. I have three hours to do something. What should I do? Just lunch lunch hour. Just go around. Ah. Is there anywhere special to go? Maybe the Boma? I walked past the Boma. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long has this market been here? Two years. Sour. Ah. I like the ass cheeks. <laughs> Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Mataco Makupwe. Makupa. Is that good? <laughs> I learned yes, the good yes. words. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like um, a taco kudugo. Uh, you like? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like that one? Which one? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Good. Right. On that note, I'm going to leave. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to. <laughs> no, I'm going. I'm going. Yeah. Nice to see you guys. I'm going for a wander. I'm going to walk around. See a ringa. Uh, yeah. Sure. I'm staying. My my motorbike is parked over there. So. Sawa. Nice to meet you guys. Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Asante Sana! Alright, so this is a nice little cute park in Iringa. Who knew? Who knew that the people of Iringa were so nice? Mambo! Mm. Nice to. Huh? <laughs> no problem! I, I went to name a coffee. You're what? I work in you know Nema Club? Nema, Nema Club Street. Nema Club, I've not been there, no. For disability people. Oh, cool. Yes. Nice. So, nice place to take pictures of this place. Is this a good place to film? Let me show you. Oh, Sante. Gina Lako ni Nani? Steven, Gina Lako Nani. Uh, Philip. Philip. Gina Langu ni Philip. Philip. Yes. Habari Zam Chana? Zuri, Habari Zam Chana. Ah. Salama. Where do you learn in Swahili? Uh, in a book. Book? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are we staying? Uh, I'm staying in the Royal Hotel. Uh, Mount Royal. Mount Royal Hotel. Uh, nice hotel. Yes, I stayed there last night and I'm leaving to go to uh, 
uh, towards uh, Mbeya. Tomorrow? Today. Uh, Egypt. By Piki Piki. Sure. Yeah. Big. Piki Piki. BMW. No. TVS. Yeah, I drive to. Uh, I'm going to drive to South Africa on my TVS. Yeah. TVS is good. Yeah. You're by here. Yeah. In dark. I drove here from dark. In my profession, I'm artist. You're an artist. And a guide for about the animals. Oh, cool. About the town. I'll show you some place very nice. Sure. For picture. This is a nice uh, building. They're building something new. Mm. Sure. You said Stephen. Yes, Stephen. Stephen. So you work with disabled children, or? I show you later. Okay. When we come back. Cool. I live with Iringa. I born in Iringa. You were born in Iringa. Yes. Has the town changed? No. Kidogo. Kidogo. Corona was really bad about business. Was it? Corona. Cool. Very bad. Not many people visiting. Do you have many tourists? No. What are the main uh, industries in here in Uringa? Uh, to see, to look. No, the main industries. What do people make uh, here? Yeah, they make people. They make. They selling carving. Car carving. Cabbage. Carving. Carvings. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw some wood carvings earlier. Ah, uh, today. Yeah, just in the in the in the Maasai market. So we start from here. Okay. Saba. Leo. Are you going? Uh, are you Good going? Day. Yes, I see you. You're going this way. Yes. Am I taking you off of your uh, no plans for the day? No problem. Asante Sana. Oh, nice market. Yeah. So cool. Man, it's firing. So the cool. Big market in Iringa. Ah, this is where everyone buys all their fruit. Humble. We'll go inside. Sure. It's nice. So people that are doing different activities here. Ah. Different okay. That's Auntie Zana. Oh yeah. What can is there any uh is this all just uh um, this, this from there. This is cooking. It's from Mbea. For, for cooking. For cooking, cooking yeah. Banana. Plantain. Yes. Mata uh, mata matoki. Mato do you have ma do you have matoki, matoki here? Matoki. This is matoki. This is matoki. Matoki yeah. is busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And this is green banana, uh, yellow what, banana. What is the meaning of uh, Matoki? Which is the language? Uh, matoki, because I was in Uganda. Yes, Uganda, yes. And they eat a lot of Matoki. Yes. Matoki, yes. And you call it? Matoki, we call banana, Ndizi. 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 Okay, Ndizi. Ndizi. Ah, okay. They call it Matoki. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. From there. Mambo. Mshale. Mshale. Yeah. We call it Mshale. Oh, Mshale. 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 Okay. Uganda. Uganda. Okay. Okay. Many different bananas. This is the sweet banana, yeah? This you are using with when you are cooking, you are using oil. Ah. And then Sawa. Okay. You know the meaning of Mshale? No. Mshale like the spear. Ah, see, I see, I see. Asante. Okay. They sell fish here. I can smell fish. Yes, yes. I show you. Mambo, chikamu. Ah, wow! They have everything here. Where does is the fruit is the fruit grown here? Mambo. What are you guys making? Cool. This will, you know this. Number. Simply it's for fix you. Oh, for for tying these together. Is this package? What is this called? Is this salt or? This is lime, like lemon. Oh, that's yeah. oh sour. Asante. This is baobab fruit. Ah, baobab. Okay. Ba you know baobab fruit, big tree. Okay. You know? Yeah, yeah, I know baobab. Yeah. This is the kind from from Mwanza. Ah. You know, you do a Victoria. Yeah. You do a Victoria. Oh, Mwanza. 
Aló, aló, la. Mambo. Ah, ¿sí? 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 Mambo. Asante. <laughs> Rice from a bear. Mambo. How are you? Habari za mchana. Ah, asante. According to who is very high. Right. So that's making this more expensive. That is very expensive. Who is very expensive? Very high now, Okay, okay. Two thousand for, and that's for one kilo. One kilo. Yes. Okay. Okay. Asante. Mambo. Okay. For bread, is to make bread. Oh right, the grain. Mambo. Market. Very old. At one hundred and fifty. Look the look. You see the look? Yeah. So we go now. We go inside. Okay. Cool. Thank you for helping me. <laughs> Eating a police station. Now we go to the German market. Okay. The Germans are selling local local food, like in local restaurant. Okay. The building by German, 150 years. Wow, 150 years. Mambo, how are you? We go, we go to see inside. Huh? Oh, this is local. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, this is a restaurant. Built by German people. Oh, this was built by Germans. The Germans. Mambo. Oh. Cute. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Mambo Abuene Nzuri Unoge Unoge, what does Unoge mean? Abuene Like how are you fine? Ah, Nzuri, sana, asante Hey, hey language Ah I'm hey Ah, hey language Hey Nice language. to meet you Okay <laughs> Alright. That is the witch doctor. Witch doctor? You see, oh. it makes it. Wow. If you are sick, Mambo, you can... how are you? I say, Abari. Abari, Zam Chana. This is witch doctor. Oh, wow. You see, it makes it. Really? Mm. This is cool. Do you come here? Yeah? Do you come here when you're Sometimes. sick? Yeah? Maybe what did it? So much. Heady. If you have a sore head, you can come yes. here. Yeah. And what do they give you? Uh, local, local medicine. Local medicine. Like you powder, powder medicine. Like for the head, yes. what would you? What powder, would you powder, powder. What's in the powder though? When I kill our kitchen, say. Our kitchen. Our tumbo. You want to show some example for okay. uh, medicine for stomach. Okay. This is for stomach. You want to Ayo una capuna. Una capuna. Eh. Tú la crees. Tú tienes one piece and then. Okay. The soup is the soup. The soup is there. Go. Sawa. Asante. Una dawa na ni. Mambo. Sikamu. Zima. Karibu chai. Karibu chai. Welcome to you. Ah. Sati sana. Say that. Don't say that. If 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 the if if the lady the girl they pregnant and they want to abortion, 
Yeah. 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 If anyone needs an abortion, come here. People is very busy. Yes, very busy in here. Working hard. Mambo. Oh, yes. Hello. How are you? Mambo. Look down. Hot water. Oh, yeah. Mambo, how are you? Safi. Mambo. Ah. Chips, my eye, my favorite. Oh, cute. Are you okay? No, ah. <laughs> He's like, no, don't touch me. Wow, nice wicker basket. Stupid market. Mambo. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. Ah, how is it? Nice to it's going you, good. Habari Zam Chana. Salama Habariako. Salama Sana. <laughs> Can I say Salama Sana? Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Very peaceful. Yeah, okay. Gina <laughs> Lakonani. Uh, Gina Languni Philip. Philip. Gina Suleimani. Suleimani. Suleimani, nice to meet you. Oh, no, you've got me. I can't speak anymore. Nimefurai means nice to meet you. It means Nimefurai. Nimefurai. We'll go back to them because the disability will pass them. Okay, great. Asante Sana, nice to meet you guys. And these are the chickens. Are you buying them for the restaurant? Yes, yeah, yes. I see. Oh, this is for brushing teeth. the teeth. Yes. Okay. If anyone needs a toothbrush, you yeah. can come here. Asante. Thank you. See you. My battery is running low though. This one for... This is for sheathing. Grass. This is for cutting the grass. Yeah. I see. Mambo. Oh. You see, it's very old. Yeah. So it's like... So this is... Uh, what, 19, uh, 1911, something yes, like this? This is market for basket. Okay. And then now we go to the Indian street. Okay, great. Let's go. The Indian street was doing business in this street. Yeah. The Indians were? Indian street. Okay, this is called Indian street. Indian, that's why called Indian street. So, okay. because there's some Linga people that come up with the business. So another another Indian people, they're, they're, learning, they're selling business. They're, they're learning a way to, cut, to, to Canada. Okay. So now there are remaining few Indians. Okay. Oh, well, because the Indians went to Canada? Yes. So oh. in the front they are doing business, back they are living. Ah. They live in the shop. Okay. Oh, really? Back. Yeah. But there is no Indians here now. It's all uh, Tanzanians. Few Indians and Tanzanians. Ah, okay. But this Indian shop. Okay. Indian shop. Okay. Why did the Indians go to Canada? Because the Inca people, they come up for the business. Yeah. So the big, the big, big, big competition. Okay. So the Indians are failing. This is this is opening. This is yeah. Indian opening. Okay. And is the mosque. Wow. So Baki, there is the opening for all the Indian people. Oh right. So the rich Indians they bring tea morning, afternoon they they bring food and the evening they bring food. Okay. So inside the a lot of old Indian. I see. Old Indian opening. But you said there's not very many Indians left. So. There's few Indians. Yeah, so now it's uh, shops. <laughs> now this is shops. Yes, I'll show some. Okay. <laughs> What's the meaning of this one? Then just making in truck. <laughs> in transit. Sure. Yeah, it means uh, tra snakes along the route. Ah. <laughs> Mambo. <laughs> Mambo, this is your shop? Yeah. Very nice, very nice. I got told this is called the Indian Street. Okay. Because if you are honest, yeah. everybody can love you. Yes. This is true. You, this is a very wise 
wise thing to say. Mambo, I did it. <laughs> They're selling shoes here. Local shoes from Europe. This oh, oh no, use the shoes. This is called use the shoes. Use shoes, yeah, second hand shoes. Second, yes. Mambo, but how are you? So here you, you buy for cheaper. Ah, I see. Yes. Mambo, Asante Sana. I don't think they'll have my size. I'm a size 12. You like to buy one? I'm very big foot. Some shops there are going to buy. Uh, no, it's okay. Ah, uh, look. Maybe trainers. Maybe I'll buy some trainers. But I don't have very much cash on me, so no, it's okay. Okay, so everyone sells shoes on this street. Yeah. I was learning to be a guide from long time when I was small. Oh, yeah? Yes. Wow. I know different places. That's my, my is that your profession, my being profession, a guide? Yes, my profession. Yeah. Ah. I'm lucky I met you. Uh, so I work like a private. Yeah. Freelancer. Private. Private, private uh, guide. A freelancer, yeah. Well, it's good I met you. New Africa. New Africa. No. Walking slow. Oh, yeah? Yes. Slow down, yeah. <laughs> you know everyone that lives here? You've lived here your whole life. You know all of these people? Yes, I know me and I know. Yeah? Sure. Because it's a small town. How many people here? 125,000? In Ilinga? Yeah. 100? 150,000 people? Maybe 2 million. Two million people? Yes, because in the slum, five million. Huh? The slum people is five million people. Okay. In, in a small, small city, two million. And okay. twenty something. Okay. Oh, this is you from Europe. Okay. Great. And Thank you. The German was doing very bad things. People in Ilinga. Really? I was, sure. We're going to the place where yes. they hang people? Yes. Okay. Why did they hang them? About the colonialism, colonialism Co time. Yeah. Yes. Were they slaves here? The war. Yeah? You got Dur to see, during yeah. the war? You got to see. Okay. And this building is German? No, no. This is a new one. This looks new. Arabian people. Ah, oh, Arabic. Mm. It's nice. Yes. Actually. Good. This house? Yeah. 150 years old. Yes. Look. No cement. Ah. All this. Oh, you mean this one here? Look, this one, you see. No cement. Oh, this one. Even this. No cement. Okay. Look, this one. No cement. Yes. There's only this. Only rocks. Local sand. Yes, rocks. Local sand, yeah. Yes. People are doing like, they put water and then ah. You see. <coughs> this one's sign now. You can try to read it. This place. You can read. Oh, you can read on this. The Execution of, grind. The, the name of this place is delivered from the Swahili derived, word. Derived Tanzin. from the Swahili word Meaning Kitanzi. Meaning look, it was used by excursion. Excursion. By the German colonial administration yes. when chief of power beginning striking Gara attacked attack against the German troops. Troops. A people are called yeah. to collaborating. Yeah with him were excluded here. It is said that they were shot by firing squads in the first phase and later hanged a tree. Before, Before execution, the convicts had to walk up Legazam. Oh, which is the slow said, walk. Yes, yes. Ah, street from the military station in a public procession. Among the victims were a number of Mkwawa family members, including his younger brother. Now you're getting, you're getting the meaning. Yes. Yes. So they're even here to killing Germans. So this is, this is where they used to hang people. Yes. From this tree or no? This is uh. This is uh. There's, there's another tree. So this they make like a sign. This was to commemorate yes, the yes, fact memory, that. Yes. So here people. Are so here. people remember. Yes. The the bad things that yes. happened. How, what year did the the were they? What year were the Germans living here? 
Ah, it's a long time. I don't know, remember, but it's okay. a long time. 1901. I think so. 19, I think. Early 1900s, I think. Wow. It's sad. And this building used to be... 150. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Thank you. Terrible things were done here. Speaking stone. Speaking? Biggest stone in Iringa. You see the stone one. Biggest. Very far away. I see it. The stone was speaking. Wow. Long time. Okay, what guys. Right. Okay. So this is for you. Okay. Asante you. Sana. And then this, uh, I will count. This is for me. One, two. <laughs> oh, I pull it. It's finished. You have a bin? I don't I said Mambo. All right. Ah, I see. It. Mzuri sana, asante. You want to be in a picture? Hey. <laughs> I'm going to take a picture of you. <laughs> so down there is a, there is a common, there is a grave site here. There's a grave site? Yes, yes, so, Cemetery? Yes, Mr. So down there is a board of people. And then the government are putting market I mean, uh, up, up to the board. There's a market yes. here, and then below yes. there's a cemetery. Yes. Yeah. Sawa. So let's go back. Okay, cool. Similar price, yeah? 2,400. Yeah, that's because now the Because of the petrol, yeah? The petrol. Yeah. So this market street's cheaper than the other one? Yes, it's cheaper. Ah. But they have a cemetery and dead bodies underneath. <laughs> okay. Wow. So this one is the old bus terminal. Yes. You can see the now old bus terminal. The bus who, who was going to Slam Mbea to Doma. Uh -huh. The terminal was here. Oh. So now the government are building another terminal. It's called the Gumbiro. New, new, new terminal, one. big one. And will this one stay open? This one they use for local buses. Local for town bus. Uh -huh. Dala, da you call Dala, them Dala Dala? Dala? Yes, Dala Dala. Okay. Yes. Sour. Another terminal. I see. Ah. I see. Yeah, one more, one more, one more. Local buses here, Local bus. and then they're doing the the buses to Mbeya. Yes. Go somewhere else. Bus to Mbeya, they're going to a new terminal. It could be a big terminal. Okay. Because the government are building big terminal. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. About the five kilometers from here. Okay. Yes. So people have to take a picky picky to get to the yes, bus yes. to Dar. Yes. <laughs> ah. Maybe they take a local bus to go there. Uh, yes. Yeah. Two course. buses. Of course. This is building by Germany. This yes. building, yeah, this hotel. The one are from Germany. Ah. Iringa people. These are what? Iringa people. Iringa people own this. The owner, the owner. Ah. The owner from Iringa. That's good. The owner from Germany. Ah, okay. So people should stay in this one. Yes. <laughs> Support the local business. So this place is yes. Nima Crafts yes. Center, Center for, for Disabled Center People. Center for Disabled. So they're doing Nima Crafty. Okay. Center for People with Disabilities, Nima Crafty and Cap and the Hostel. Okay, should we have a look? Yeah. Mambo. Yeah. Mambo. Yeah. How are you? Yeah. I'm fine. Good. good. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nzuri Sana. Wow. And this is the factory. Okay. This is Petro. Yeah. It's going to show me around the factory here. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah.
Amazing. Mambo. Yeah. Wow. Welcome. Oh, Santa Santa. How are you? Good. This is amazing. This area weaving. Ah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I love the machines. They're amazing. I think to tell the leader, you tell you. Yeah. We Hello. Are how are you? Here doing. What is here? And, and you made yeah. all of the things out here. You made in here. Yes. Beautiful. In Zuri Sana. Asante. Wow. This is weaving machine. And this one? Uh, this is a whopping mill. Okay, and you're working with your hands to yeah, make yeah, this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. This, this, this is a blanket. Okay. Yeah. This, this is cloth blanket. is very beautiful. And you made all of this? Yes. Just with your hands? Yeah, yeah. Incredible. Uh, we weave from that machine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So here we have. Oh, so you're just tying these together uh, yeah, at yeah, the yeah, end. Yeah, 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 this yeah. one is made from that machine yeah, over there. Yeah, yeah. I understand. I was confused. I was like, wow. <laughs> Amazing. Let me film. Mambo. Can I see this? Mambo. <laughs> ah. And then it's attached here. Nice. Mambo. So you do the packaging? Uh, quality checks. Oh, quality checks. Mm -hmm. Wow. Do you guys sell stuff online as well? Yeah, we have an online page. Is it Nima Crafts? Uh, NemaHome.org. NemaHome.org. Okay, cool. Wow, these things are so cute as well. Yeah. And where are you from? I'm from Scotland. Oh, cool. From the UK as well. Yeah. Nice. And is this just offices through here? Yeah. Ah, so we've got this whole office area. It's incredible. Nice. And then I'm going to show you guys the. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the little cafe upstairs. <laughs> Asante. I'm just going to show off the cafe upstairs. Oh, okay. Nice. Oh. Yeah, so they do food. I just had a little coffee in here while my phone was charging. It's beautiful. Nice architecture. <laughs> and this lovely area outside for relaxing. Mambo. I'm doing some work. Amazing. All right, guys. Uh, so, yeah, that's the Oringa tour. And uh, thanks for watching. I've got to go and get my motorbike now and drive. Start my drive down to uh, to Umbea. I don't think I'll make it the whole way today. But hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, if you haven't already, hit subscribe like this video, uh, turn on the notification bell on my channel, share this video with a friend, drop me a comment, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.